Good morning, guys. Just heading into work right now. <sighs> it's gonna be a long time before I ever see a day off again. Great. Oh. Such a busy morning. Taking care of laundry, guinea pig's cage, uh, vlog, editing. Jeez, it took this, uh, I had to get a job, second job, and lose all my day offs to finally be able to appreciate just how much time I had available. Now I won't be uh, won't waste uh, time so much when I finally do have uh, day offs again. Ah, that sucks. Wish I had learned this lesson a long time ago. Anyway, time for work. The one that I actually like. Well, I think I set myself a new record. In here, I work on Sunday, and I have absolutely nothing to do. After an entire week of everything just piling up, I finished it all yesterday. I'm definitely way too fast for this job. Oh, well, guess it's time to relax. Well, I could be doing a ton of other stuff right now, though. All right, just got to work. Only thing left planned for today is uh, head over to Cold, pick up a few more shirts for work. And then, quick trip over to Target, see if I can pick up something uh, thing quick for uh, the Christmas party that I'm uh, going to this weekend, immediately after work. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I just got home. Uh, going to take uh, care of today's useless facts first before anything else. Um, yesterday I said that today I was going to be doing facts on electricity. But then I read the facts more closely and realized that I've done electricity already. So, today's useless, fa bleh, useless facts are going to be on fingerprints. Here we go. In Babylon, from 1885 to 1913 B.C., Fingerprints were used as substitutes for signatures in order to protect against forgeries. Parties would impress their fingerprints into clay tablets in which contracts had been written. Although the ancient people probably did not realize that fingerprints could identify individuals, references from the age of the Babylonian king Hammurabi (1792–1750 BC) indicate that law officials fingerprinted people who had been arrested. In 1906, New York City Police Department Deputy Commissioner Joseph A. Faurat introduced the fingerprinting of criminals to the United States. It remains the most commonly used forensic evidence worldwide in most jurisdictions. Fingerprint examination cases match or outnumber all other forensic examination casework combined. Fingerprints are reported to solve 10 times more unknown suspect cases than DNA. Okay. Huh. Alright. The fingerprints of koala bears are virtually indistinguishable from those of humans, so much so that they can easily be confused 
at a crime scene even with an electron microscope. Hmm. The largest AFIS automated fingerprint identification system repository in America is operated by the Department of Homeland Security's U.S. Visit Program. The archives contain over 90 million persons' fingerprints, many in the form of two-finger records. And that's it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow we have um, flowers. <laughs>